Hi, I'm Johnny, I'm one of your students, and I'm going to be driving down downtown and downtown St. Augustine. We're going to see all the history and I'm going to kind of compare them to what happened in Greensboro, uh, the boycott, and just some other, what do you call it, civil rights movements and racial problems that we had in the U.S. And this is part of it. And this is going to be fun. So today I'm going to be talking about Freedom Riders, the March on Washington, and the Greenboro's um, sit-ins. So these are all civil rights um, activists doing peaceful demonstrations. And so I'm also going to show you some things I have in my town because my town is just full of history and I'm going to show you some examples that I have here. But the Freedom Riders were a group of African Americans and um, white act, uh, civil rights activists who decided to go boycott, not boycott, they tried to go use white restrooms and lunch encounters at bus stops to try to stop bus stops segregation. And they were confronted by police and violent protesters. Um, the March on Washington was a massive protest, protest in August 1963. And it was most famous for Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. And it was crazy. It was originally called the March, March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. And uh, around 250,000 gathered there at Lincoln Memorial. Uh, and then the Greenboro sit-ins were a civil rights protest started in 1960 when young African-American students staged a sit-in at segregated Woolworths lunch counter in Greenboro, North Carolina, and refused to leave after being denied service. Uh, it soon spreaded through all college towns, and many of them were arrested for trespassing disorderly contact or disturbing the peace. Their actions were immediate impact, um, and, they had to, and the Woolworths and other establishments had to change their policies. The Greenboro Four came became known, and they also had been they spurred an act. Nah, they had been spurred to action by a brutal murderer in 1955 when a young black boy Emmett Till, who had had allegedly whistled at a white woman in Mississippi store in the But we also in my town we have also world, uh, old World Wars, and I'll show you that in a second. And so I'm here downtown, just drove down here, and I'm going to go find some historical fight sites in an hour. I have a list of some things that's happened. Let's start off this car. Let's get going. Where we're heading is Woolworth uh, Cafe, where it was a famous place where a bunch of uh, sit-ins happened. And it's right next to the college. Not next to the college. It's now the college. Might have been. I don't know what it was back then. But uh, a bunch of college-age students went down there, or kids, went down there, and they did their own sit-ins, their nonviolent sit-ins. And a lot of them got kicked out. It was a lot like the Green Barrels, boroughs. And so we're going down there right now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a walk because I have to park far away, so it's free. Um, I'm going to go down there. It's going to be fun. It's now Wells Fargo, random fact. So I have my Wells Fargo card. When they're closed, I'm going to be able to get in there to go look at the cafe. Um, it's going to be a fun time. They have a little replica of what it used to look like. Now it's a bank. But so I'm going to go down there. It's going to be fun. Now, here it is. So it's Wells Fargo now. So, see, we got some stink here. See, it's a big civil rights part. See, right there. Woolworth. There's the old diner. Let's see if we can get inside. So here we go. See, the old Woolworth. So the history behind this is it's a lot like the um, Greenboro, right? And so a lot of it was we had the St. Augustine Four that sat down, tried to order a hamburger, and they were actually arrested for like six months and put into jail. And Cool. Elva right here. It's a replica. That's this Wells Fargo. That's not good. No, don't do that. That's a lie. 
So I just wouldn't dare to ask them if I go to the pool, and they said no. Okay, so I found it though. So this was the Monson Motor Lodging or something like that, and had a restaurant. And that's about the best I can get. I'll walk back. Um, but they, but the motor hotel had the pool and the restaurant. And what ended up happening was a bunch of civil rights activists wanted to get a to eat there, and they said no. So they were like, "Well, it's a public pool, so let's jump in the pool." Jumped in the pool. The owner actually came out and said they can't, and they're like, "You yeah, know, it's a public pool, we can." And so. He started pouring acid inside the pool. And so that was a big thing. A lot of protests happened there and very fun time. This place just chock full of history. Yeah, you played that music. Mm. I like your music, man. He didn't hear me. That's awkward. Either he didn't hear me or he ignored me blatantly. I will not be happy about it. I will not stand for that. I should go tell him. No, I'm not going to go to the coffee shop and tell him that. Never mind. <laughs> So the attraction that most people come to St. Augustine to see is actually quite, quite crazy. Like, I, I love this thing. I've been here so many times just to come look at it and sometimes go inside. A lot of people call it the fort, but I call it the bathroom. <laughs> 